I realize the title of the video seems a little dramatic or confusing or both, but I really am going to tell you how your nerves and your muscles are getting a divorce, why it matters and how to prevent it. Let's jump in. Learn your body, a science-based education. Your muscle cells are each married, for a lack of a better word, to a single neuron, a nerve cell that is connected to your spinal cord. When you were born, these connections between neuron and muscle cell are still stabilizing. They're still dating until they eventually commit. This commitment is a stabilized connection between the two. Now, when I say they're committed, it truly is a commitment. Neither is forced into the situation by any physical contact. Neurons do not touch the muscle cell. They are literally attracted by their chemistry. Molecules released by the muscle cell influence, enchant the neuron to it, a bit like a courting process. Muscles got game. Even when the connection is set and they're married, the connection is continued to be facilitated by the exchange of molecules between the two cells. However, tragedy can strike, ruining this happy union. There comes a time when the neuron may begin dissociating from the union, the marriage. One day, the neuron files for divorce, completely severing its chemical connection with the muscle cell. Saddened, but well, not at all because the muscle cells don't actually feel emotion, the muscle will begin shriveling up. This is called denervation induced atrophy. Because the muscle cell requires the neuron to contract, without muscle contraction, your muscle cells have no stimulus to maintain themselves. So they shrink and become largely non-functional. Okay, but before you feel too bad for the poor old muscle cell, it's probably to blame for the neuron losing interest and in leaving. Just like we discussed earlier, the muscle cell needs to be continuously communicating with the neuron through chemical molecular means. Unfortunately, it reduces the amount and type of these molecules sent to the neuron. This destabilizes the connection, the relationship between the two. After long enough of molecular insult, the neuron has had enough and breaks it off with the muscle cell, leaving the muscle cell to shrink. Now, you might be wondering, why would my muscle cells do such a mean thing? Well, the answer comes down to aging. Although our muscle cells are incredibly robust at maintaining their integrity and functionality, eventually they do suffer from decades of insult, meaning things like mitochondrial dysfunction, reactive oxygen species, and other factors can all lead to dysregulation of the muscle cells, causing them to behave out of the ordinary. One of those manifestations is chasing the neuron away. So the next question you might have is, what can be done to keep this pair happily together? As with anything in relation to muscle and even the nervous system, exercise, really any form of exercise, but specifically resistance training, lifting weights, because it leads to stronger and stronger connections since the need for growth necessitates it. Even if you are in your 80s and older, this divorce can be drastically reduced by simply picking up relatively heavy objects and lowering them back down. It doesn't have to be extreme either. Biological marriage. Who would have thought that it has such a crossover into real life? Treat people badly and they leave. Treat your partner's cell badly, it leaves. The similarity is uncanny. And with that, I hope you found this informative and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers.